So I, mean, I know you do a lot of um, you know, model shoots and, and professional models and you do celebrities and things like that. But most people don't get the chance to do that. Do you know what I mean? They'll be photographing yeah. the girl next door or the guy down the road or they've maybe sort of gone on to something like maybe model mayhem and they've got someone who wants to start modelling. But they just can't seem to get the shots they want. I mean, what what would you, what kind of advice could you give somebody that was wanting to get decent shots yeah. from the person next door? Maybe I don't know. A very, very, very wise and bold instructor once <laughs> said, "You have to get the people into a character." <laughs> and somehow I agree with him. I don't know. He's he's a little bit smaller than me. Yeah. He has bald hair. Uh huh. And. He, I believe he does a little bit retouching it's in quite, Lightroom quite, quite or iPaint. Fashionable, fashionable guy. Yeah, he's that's <laughs> really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's an inside joke, by the way. Okay, <laughs> he will tell you on a blog one day. Uh, and it's you, man. And <laughs> that that really that struck a note with me because that's what I tell all my students during the workshops: let them act. Mm. A good model is acting on one thousandth of a second, and video is great. But video, you have time. If you do something wrong and if you move. Now, let, let's play a game with you guys over there. Now, I'm moving my hands and I'm moving my lips. And now it looks normal. But now start pressing pause on your or pause on your player. And now when I move, there will be moments where I look really awkward. Or there will be moments when I look straight into the camera. I will look normal, like a picture. And when you start realizing that with video, everything is smooth. And with photography, everything is smooth until you press that shutter. Mm. And when you press it at the wrong moment, it can be one thousandth of a second, you will photograph somebody with droopy eyes. Or you will photograph somebody with their mouth half open or with an arm on the wrong place. So you started thinking and now to get somebody relaxed in front of the camera, to, to counteract all that problem is what I normally say if I, I shoot a model that has no experience at all. I will first start talking with her. I start showing her my portfolio and I start showing her, okay, do you like stuff like this? Yes. And I will only show her the stuff that's easy. And normally I don't want my model to look straight into the camera, look a little bit away. Because I always say when you look straight into the camera, those eyes will haunt you. Wherever you walk, those eyes will follow you and mm. it's very quickly they will get creepy. So look away. And I always tell to the model, don't try to pose, because you know they all seen America's Next Top Model, the poses like this. Mm -hmm. So don't do that. Uh, I always say, look like you're waiting for the bus. Relax, and I will let them stand against the wall, never in front of a seamless. Stand against the wall, because then they have a natural flow to their body. They will lean against the wall and relax. And just look down, don't look into the camera, because that also, that takes away that the, the piece of, I have to look through the glass, I have to look into the eyes of the photographer. And that's really scary for the first time. So when I just say, lean against the wall, look down. Mm -hmm. And they will start relaxing, and then the strokes will go off, and first they will do something like this, and then a little bit less, and then slowly I will say, okay, now look a little bit this way, this way, this way, okay, now look into the camera. Proposing is one of those things that I, I get asked, you know, by, by people, how do you pose people? Not. You, well, and that's what I was going to say, because I don't, know, I don't know what you think, but one thing I tend to do quite a lot is I, I can play the idiot quite well. And I'll, I'll get somebody in front of the camera and the lights are set up and, and I'll kind of like be looking at my camera, making out I'm maybe doing something, but at the corner of my eye I'm watching them. And yeah. then all of a sudden, they'll kind of naturally drop into a position and I'll go, oh, hold on, hold that, bang, and then we go, and then we start rolling. So that, yeah. that's how I do it, do you know what I mean? But it seems to work for me because I've tried do this, do this with your hands, do that. They just don't look natural, no. you know? It's... Uh, I believe it was the day before yesterday, one of my students came to me and said, Frank, Frank, what do you think about posing books? I said, oh, yeah, they're yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. And he said, oh, so you use them? I said, yeah, if it's really cold, <laughs> you, they can make a great fire because they're like, and what I never got about, about them was 1,001 poses. And it's like, uh-huh. So he wrote 1,000 poses and he said, oh, I know one more. Why not 1,002? Why not 999? Why 1,001 poses? <laughs> it's like, after that, there are no poses in the world anymore. Yeah. 1,001. And it sounds like a, a joke, but those books aren't that cheap. Mm -hmm. And when you go through them, it's like, 
the, the poses are so obvious. What I always say to people, if you really, really want to know how to pose a model, buy Vogue. Vogue magazine. Yeah, yeah. Even the advertisements in Vogue. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't read a lot of magazines. But when I buy Vogue and I even look at the advertisements, I go crazy because I see stuff that's wow. I want to know how to do this. If somebody would say Anouk will do it with um, uh, recipes, she will tear it out, you know, and she will read a magazine and she will see a, a recipe and will tear it out. If I would tear out pages in Vogue, it would be something like this: opening, ooh, page two, ooh. Page three. Ooh, I just leave the just pages. Just the whole in. book in the yeah. book in. <laughs> I have a, I have a, I have a case, and there are all my books in, or a closet. How do you call it? A book. A, a, a book, bookshelf. Yeah, bookshelf. Yeah, yeah. And there are my photography books. And in between the photography books, you see folk, 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 and then you see photography book, Helmut Newton, David LaChapelle, folk, folk, and everywhere I go, I try to buy folk. Yeah. So I have some from Italy, I have some from Spain, I have some from America. And it's just an awesome place to get inspiration, not only about photography, but about poses. And don't look at the images like, oh, pretty image. No, look at the image like, now, what do I really like about this image? What makes me tick? And you will very soon find out that it's not only the composition, but it's the way the model looks. Mm -hmm. It's the way the retouching is done. Maybe it's the way that the shadows are all blocked up. Maybe it's the way that there are no shadows that's lifted blacks. Mm -hmm. So try to analyze a picture that way, and then when you see it, try to recreate it. Like we talked about, I believe it was yesterday, about creating a look. A lot of people will go to you, and the forms are full with it. Like, okay, I love this uh, 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 guy. How do I create this look? And then you see an image, and Dave Hill is one of the best examples, I think. Mm -hmm. He's using a light setup that's very easy, but it's a light setup with strong accents, beauty this on front, fill light. And if you see his videos, oh, that again. What's, it doing? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> watch his videos and you can see how he does it. And then he does the retouching. But when you go on a forum, you will see people delivering pictures that were shot with on camera strokes. Okay. Yeah, I want a Dave Hill look. And I'm like, yeah, and I want to filter the awesome filter. I'm still looking for it. See, it's six is out. There's no, still no awesome filter. <laughs> so you know what I mean? You go down, you go to filters or export. And there's that filter, awesome. That you press it, and instantly. Have you not looked in the other awesome. section? Filter other. Oh Just no, is it there? On the high pass. Awesome. That's, wow. that's the next step. That's the best. It's in the beta version. You haven't got that. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, Can you get me in? <laughs> Any, anyway, there is no awesome filter. It all starts with proper use of lighting. So when when people started doing that, that's when it triggered me. Like you know, you have to find that voice and starting with that folk start to recreate the image. Now, I'm getting off topic. What I do when I really like a look, I will not start with the image, my image, and try to recreate that look into my image. No, what I will do is I will scan that image from the Vogue or whatever magazine. I will scan it into Photoshop right. and I will try to make it normal. What so, do mean, what do you mean by normal? Okay, let's say I have an image that I really like and it has raised shadows and it has a desaturated red look and maybe it has an overlay of yellow. Okay. Then I will scan that image, get it into Photoshop and start analyzing. Okay, the first thing I have to do, there's no blacks. In my images there is blacks, okay. So go to levels, pull down the blacks. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's normal. Okay, now look at the color. There's too little red. Okay, start going into the channel mixer or whatever, turn on red. Okay, mm -hmm. now it looks nice. Okay, now there's a whole yellow cast over the image, okay? So take away the yellow cast. Ah, now I have an image, like it's straight out of the camera. Now what did I do? Okay. Oh, so I you know, deep, deep constructing it. Yeah, you, you re-engineer the image, right, but yeah. the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know exactly, if then you see the original image, like it was in, in Vogue, and you see the image that you created. And now you can start doing it on your own image. So you have your own image, and you start raising the shadows. Okay, now the shadows are gone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now it desaturates the red. Okay. Now it looks nice, and now I give it the yellow cast. Aha! Uh -huh. And then you finally find out also because now you see how the lighting is done. Because often people are so focused on not analyzing the lighting, they will just analyze the look of the image and see the image as a whole, and they forget that there's something like a background, there's something like light setups. Mm -hmm. I get so many emails from people who book a studio session, and they send me pictures from people lying on the beach. 
with the sun behind yeah, me. And I'm like, this. yeah, I want, I want this. And I'm like, sure, let's go to Ibiza. You were very tempted then when you to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well, no, you were tempted then when you Yeah, I was tempted then. <laughs> no, I can't do it, sorry. No. I won't do that. I want, no, to, keep okay. it, I want to keep it serious. Come on. I will crop this out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't crop it out. Just leave it. <laughs>